Well, hey there, everybody. It is time to mint some NFDs. I'm going to show you my duck today. That <laughs> that sounds really freaking dirty. Uh, I will be showing you my duck today. Um, but you know what? I'm taking a look at some of the ducks that are out there, and uh, they're, they're pretty cool. So if you head over to duck.community, I will try to stop laughing at saying I will show you my duck. I um, head over to duck.community. And here, when you launch the uh, the DAP, the, that's where you're going to be creating the duck. You can take a look at the tokenomics, the roadmap, um, and some of the newly minted ones. You can actually see mine right here, number 316. But I want to walk you through really quickly how you can um, mint your own duck and what you can then do with the duck. In fact, I may <laughs> – I like some of these ducks. You know what? I actually may um, – I think number 313 just – just um, changed theirs out and we'll take a look at how to do that because I might actually do that on mine. I love mine. I love that I have that rare monocle, but I do want to take a look at some of the features of these ducks and what we can do with them. So let's go ahead and open the DAP here and it will take you to app.duck.community. And in this particular environment, I don't know why it's not seeing my duck. I am going to I love you duck duck people. I really do. You just give me a good giggle on everything you do and uh, your chats are no different. Um, I don't know where my, my duck is right now. It's not showing. I'll have to reconnect. Hold on just a second. There we go. Okay. I just had to click connect. I, I don't know what happened there. It was just a minor, minor glitch, but look, it's really simple once you get into this environment because you're just looking for this buy button right here. And that's going to trigger your Zilpay wallet to go ahead and activate. The cost of minting a duck is 1200 Zil plus, right? Because there's this curve and they show you the math up above. I'm not going to read all of that out. It's, it's pretty simplistic. The sooner you mint your duck, the cheaper it is. But then you have some things you can do with said duck once you have it. So you see my duck right here. I absolutely love that rare monocle. I'm, I'm, I'm scared of losing it, even though we may regenerate in a moment. But what does it mean to regenerate? What is that? Let, let's take a look at the options we have. First of all, when you get minted a duck, what happens is there are various components that are randomized to create your duck. And there can only ever be these NFDs, non-fungible ducks. I love it. There can only ever be a max supply of 8,192, right? 8,192. And these are randomly generated based on various components. When you get your duck, you can see the various components and you'll even be told how common or rare or uncommon something is. So if we take a look at my, my duck's body, it's called Shiny Hulk, this different color duck body it's uncommon the green beak is common the monocle is rare and i do love that monocle i'm going to be sad to see it go in a minute the rasta hat is uncommon and the striped hoodie is uncommon I, i've got quite a bit I, I don't know relative this is my first duck so relative to other ducks i don't know overall how well i'm doing but i do notice that i only have one thing that's labeled as common so i'm I may not want to regenerate this duck, but what we can do is we can take our duck, which has a number, which this is the number, um, the, the minted number of the duck and a name, and we can choose to rename the duck, transfer the duck to somebody else, regenerate the duck or share on social media. I want to talk about these first options very briefly though, because they do differ in terms of how you pay for the different actions on the blockchain and who you're paying and, and, and all of that. So like I mentioned, the actual duck itself was just over 1200 Zil. If you were to rename your duck, this cost says 30 Zil. I honestly, I haven't renamed the duck yet, so I don't know if that's a solid 30 Zil or if that's, you know, like just a standard transaction cost and it's gonna be a fraction of that. I really don't know, but honestly it's 30 Zil at this point. It's, it's 30 Zill. So uh, you can rename your duck if you'd like. You can transfer your duck to another wallet. This is just going to be a standard, um, a standard, you know, NFT transfer uh, type of fee through Zill Pay. I'm going to keep mine here and you can regenerate. Now, when you regenerate, you switch over from Zill to the duck token. You'd have to go to Zill Swap to get the duck token. And you can actually see if you have any duck at the very top. Right here of the interface, I have zero duck. I may need to go grab some. But when you regenerate, it costs, I'm going to say it this way, one nickel of a duck, 
zero five duck. So 5% of a duck. What, how much is that? What does it mean? Let's move me for a moment. You can see in the lower left of the interface, one duck is 4,191 zil, or in other words, $341. If we do some quick calculator math right now, a nickel of a duck is about $17 and a nickel, 1705 US dollars. Compared to the minting price, which was, um, you know, just north of 1200, that's about $80 right now currently. Um, because Zill is roughly about eight cent as I'm recording. So when you say, you know what, if you don't necessarily like your duck or you want to regenerate once you're bringing your total us dollar cost to about a hundred dollars, uh, $80 for the original minting and, um, 20 to regenerate. If you want, I think you can continue regenerating, but you, you have to realize at a certain point then you're just putting more money out, putting more money out, supporting the duck community. Um, you are doing that. So it may be worth it to you. Um, there are a couple of other things I wanted to walk through here, but I'm blanking on them right now because I'm still thinking about how uh, fun it is to say I will show you my duck on a recording on YouTube. I, if this gets me a strike on YouTube, I'm going to laugh hysterically and then weep, but then laugh. Looking through some of these, man, I really, I really like these. The first duck that was minted. That is, <laughs> that's an interesting duck. Um, I, I. I do see that. Yeah. Like, like it's pointing out, um, the monocle is pretty rare. It looks like that headset right there. That must be rare too. This, this is a cool duck. Whoever has number six shadow quackers, very cool duck. Um, that one jumped. <laughs> I love Casper lucky here. Number four, number 13 peanut Daisy. Oh, that is beautiful. The more I see these, the more I'm willing to risk it and regenerate my duck or buy another duck. Um, I just think some of them are really, really cool. I am leaning that way because mine seems to be, mine feels really similar to me to um, number 24 here. It's a slightly different body, but it still kind of looks the same. Um, they have a Terminator. I, yeah, I, I kind of think the randomness was following this format. Um, anyway, I, I just, I enjoy looking through these ducks and I'm trying to do this in case you're not somebody um, who's prone to come to this site and create a duck, I want you to kind of see some of the things that are being generated here. Just a lot of fun. I, I really, I really need to get one. Um, I'm going to have to go back. Which there was that? What was that one? <laughs> number 57, Sparky McQuack. I love number 57. Sparky, you are awesome. Number 64 has a hot dog hat. I, I just look, I mean, these things are fun. What else can you say? Um, there are some other things on the site. If you want to manage your NFTs, you can go to NFT manager. Not loading for me at the the moment. Um, so I, I, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I'll just skip all of that right now. I think what I'm going to do is live here on camera to wrap it up. I think, why are we not loading? <laughs> I will figure that out. And then I'm going to be back in just a moment and we will regenerate my duck and see what happens. So, okay, I'm back and I should have just enough duck token to regenerate once. 0 0.05 duck that should be enough and I'm, I'm using this process actually to stall for some time to walk you through a couple of other factors what happens when you buy your duck or when you regenerate the process does um work on the back end i'm i'm so nervous about doing this because i like this duck but i do want to see what i get um you know what let's go for it i click the button i'm going to approve it let's do it i did it uh, so, uh, right. The, the transaction is going to go through now, and then it can take a moment or two or a few minutes even to generate the duck because there's that random process going on on the back end of the duck servers to generate your NFD, your non-fungible duck. So, um, once the payments clear, right, once it's there, it doesn't necessarily mean your duck is going to appear. So if you're on this site for the first time and you're up clicking the buy button, it will say your payment's gone through at a certain point and you look down and it's like, yeah, but you don't have any docs. Just wait a little bit, refresh, it will be there. Um, an interesting thing is I actually found my duck by going back to the main page, by going to duck doc community and looking at the recently minted docs and, and believe it or not, it showed up there before it showed up in the DAP for myself. So I am having some type of error. I'll pause and try this again. I don't know if it's I have just under the amount of duck necessary or something like that, but I'll try it and I will come back in just a moment. 
Okay, so just on a whim, I don't think I was paying full attention here. So I had approved the contract. Now I'm going to click regenerate. Um, now I believe it should send the um, the transaction through. We'll we'll see. Um, I am going to pause again at this point, but I I think I just wasn't really paying attention while I was uh, talking through this video. So let me see if this works. If not, I'll check how much duck I actually have in my wallet. Okay, so I did finally get it to work, but it didn't work. It still threw an error, took my uh, duck, and then did not regenerate my duck. So I'm actually going to just leave it here. Um, maybe something with the contract or something like that that the uh, duck community can fix going on. They can take a look at what has happened here with number 316. Take a look. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, it did um, It did process. It did go through. It did do the transactions, but the duck didn't regenerate. And I've been waiting a good number of minutes, so I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to regenerate. But I will leave it there. These ducks are amazingly fun. Hopefully, if you do regenerate, yours works. I'm not going to reattempt it because we're in the middle of a video here. No, no, no. We're not leaving it that way. My duck did regenerate, and I just finished my laughing and coughing fit. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I'm super happy with this duck. I miss the monocle and I want to take a look at what has changed and what's common, what's uncommon in just a moment with you. But I mean, this, this poor duck, this poor duck is perfectly reflecting um, some of the challenges that I've perf you know, personally been going through with my equipment recently with a couple of projects I'm working on. I just, I, I relate to this duck and I think I'm going to keep this duck. So when I said before that I wasn't sure that the duck regenerated, um, I was thrown an error, some type of JSON error, um, so that the duck community knows and can go take a look at it. Um, especially regarding the transaction that regenerated duck number 316. I don't know what that JSON error was, but after waiting just a little bit, uh, here's my duck and I, I love my duck. So let's take a look together. Now that everyone publicly knows my duck is duck number 316, at least my first duck. I may end up grabbing a few more of these. Who knows? I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what the duck community and what the duck duck token add in to these in the future. What types of utility, what types of maybe some playability, what type of tradeability, you know, we can trade and transfer and, and, and even sell them technically now, but I'm interested to see what's coming. It does look like I dropped down to a lot more common factors. So my duck before, even though it didn't really emotionally resonate with me as much, I did love the monocle. It was much more uncommon than this particular duck. What's uncommon for me now, I have nothing rare in this duck. So I've definitely kind of uh, shot myself in the foot in terms of value, if you will, but I'm much happier with the duck, so that matters. Uh, the orange cracked beak is uncommon. I do. I, I love that. I absolutely. Actually, I like the uncommon beaks. And then the egg on the head is uncommon as well. Dumb eyes are common. Yellow hoodie is common. And being a male mallard is common. I don't particularly, um, you know, enjoy having gone down in the in the rarity. But I don't know. I'm going to keep this duck because this duck. I'm feeling this duck right now. So I did want to come back and let everybody know the process did finish even with the error. It just took a little while, maybe five or 10 minutes, something like that. Maybe less. I don't know. I was gone for five or 10 minutes and here we are. We're back. It works.